So the next thing that happened on Monday Night Raw, it was a one-on-one match. It was a main event. But before I talk about the main event, we got to talk about Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans came out pretty much saying the same thing. Uh, she's glad to be back and all that stuff. So yeah, it was great to see Lacey Evans. I guess she's now on Monday Night Raw. She was originally on SmackDown, but I think they moved her to Raw now. Uh, so yeah. But now we get to the main event. It was Asuka versus Becky Lynch. One-on-one winner of this match takes on Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's Championship at Hell in a Cell. So yeah. And this match was actually originally supposed to be a six-pack challenge. But that match didn't happen because of Sasha Banks and Naomi walking out or whatever. uh, Which I'll talk about later on. So yeah, that match was supposed to be a six-pack challenge. But now it's a one-on-one match between these two women. So yeah, it was a pretty good match between these two. Um, at the ending of this match, we kept on seeing Becky Lynch try and get Bianca to swing at her so it can lead to disqualification so Becky can have her match against her at Hell in a Cell. Like at one point, she actually grabbed Asuka and tossed her into Bianca and then started kicking Bianca upside the head and stuff and then get back and got back in the ring. And while the referee was distracted by holding Bianca back, uh, and trying to get her off the ring apron, we seen uh, Becky Lynch try and grab that umbrella or whatever that uh, Oscar walks out walks down to the entrance with. But as soon as she grabbed that, she uh, turned around, and gets hit with uh, the green mist from Oscar, and then Oscar hit the boss uh, the roundhouse kick onto uh, Becky Lynch and then pants off for three counts. So yeah, uh, Oscar defeated Becky Lynch tonight in that match, and she is now the number one contenders. Uh, for the Raw Women's Championship. So yeah, Asuka will be taking on Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's Championship at Hell in a Cell. So yeah, that's going to be the match happening. Pretty good match between the two, though. I'll give that match two and a half stars, so I'll give it. So yeah, tonight's Monday Night Raw, it was okay. Uh, that match, I would say that's probably match of the night was the main event. So yeah, pretty good one. Uh, I was expecting to see... Uh, that match actually ended a draw, so it could be like a triple threat match between those three, but it's whatever. Bianca Belair versus Asuka. I bet it's going to be a good one. Uh, let's see, Cody Rose's promo from earlier was pretty good. Ezekiel versus Chad Gable, it was alright, but the commentary with Kevin Owens was great. Lacey Evans was okay to see appear on Raw. Jimmy Uso versus Riddle was alright. Um, Alexa Bliss versus... Um, Sonya Deville was okay as well. And the still cage match from earlier with uh, Lashley versus Omos was okay as well. So yeah, and uh, Vera Mahan versus Mustafa Ali was okay, and the Mysterious Returning was great as well. So yeah, uh, okay stuff to go for tonight's Monday Night Raw. The Mysterious Returning and all that stuff. So yeah, pretty good stuff. But yeah, uh, for tonight's Monday Night Raw, I'll give it seven and a half stars. That's why I'll give it okay. Monday Night Raw, it was okay. So yeah, um, that has been my WWE Monday Night Raw, May 16th, 2022 reviews. Like, subscribe. Subscribe to Team WS on YouTube. Subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris. And subscribe to this channel, Chris with Ailes, And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and I'll be down there in the description box. And I'll see you guys later for this Wednesday's AEW Dynamite reviews. See you guys later until then.